Another Brink Radio exclusive. Hey, <laughs> what's going on, y'all? Hey, it's Crunchy Black and Brink TV, nigga. Hey, Back on your ass. You already heard it. Don't call it a comeback. We talking about my guy Crunchy Black. Back. In the studio, back in the building, we're talking about Brink Radio right here on 96.3 FM in Memphis. Crunchy, how you doing, man? Oh, man, I'm doing great, man. From the last interview, man, you know, uh, put that out there in the algorithm, and uh, Paul got a hold of us, so he got me feeling great, man. Wait a minute, so let me, let me rewind this just a tad bit. Now, we probably, I don't even know if we four two months out from that <laughs> interview. The interview dropped. That zone went viral. It went super ham and on any pork. That zone went crazy. Right, right, that. right. So you mean to tell me that DJ Paul saw the interview and what happened? Yeah, he saw the interview and um, we got I got a big brother um, that be with us all the time. I mean, like him and Paul grow to be like best friends and shit. So uh, Paul reached out to Big Brother and told Big Brother like. What if I'm doing? He's like, what is he doing? You know, that ain't crunch. What the fuck going on, man? Tell him no. And uh, Big Bro hit me up, Big Bro Phil. He hit me up, and they was like, nigga, you know, um, you already know what I'm finna say. And he was like, you know, you don't uh, go and talk about the family on online like that. And you know what I'm saying? You supposed to came to me if you couldn't get in touch with Paul. And I was just like, big bro, I came to you. You know, I couldn't get in touch with Paul. Paul had said we was going on tour. After he got through with his little tour from uh, out the country. And uh, when he came back, he kind of ignored the shit out of me. You get what I'm saying? I don't know if he was setting up what we was talking about or whatever. But I felt like I couldn't reach out to him like I, like I could. And he would respond right back like, a, like he always do. So I told Big Brother, I hit you up. You didn't have no good words for me at the time. And um, I did the interview all off, you know, some bullshit. I called it bullshit because real niggas don't talk about other real niggas. You know what I'm saying? Now, if he was a fake-ass nigga, then I probably would talk about a fake nigga because we want real niggas to be a world. Or the fake niggas, you know what I'm saying? But uh, Paul ain't a fake nigga at all. So in real life, I didn't supposed to be doing that. You get what I'm saying? That's that's against real nigga code is to take this shit to the internet and disrespect or talk about um, one of your real niggas. You get what I'm saying? And um, I just said, told Big Brother what it was, how I felt. He said, yeah, let me get that Paul, because Paul like hit him up. And uh, him and Paul was talking, and next thing I know, Big Brother like, nigga, Paul said, uh, send him your routing number to your account, and uh, he going to flood that motherfucker with money, and that's what he been doing, dog. That nigga, <laughs> <laughs> that nigga been going crazy, dog, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I feel like, if he did what he did right that quick, you feel what I'm saying? It wasn't what I was thinking. And that's what we always, as men and women, we always fuck up by thinking something you haven't heard. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. By, by, by going ahead with the negative instead of the positive. You get what I'm saying? And um, that's what I did. But I'm here today to set the record straight, you know, all the way straight. I mean, you know, everything. Paul always been there when I didn't have shit, and he's there when I got shit. He was there when I had a lot of shit. Um, you know, he been there all the time, and uh, he wanted the reasons why I have what I have. You get what I'm saying? So you'll never get this out of me anymore. Uh, talking about Paul, never again. What if it's a good thing or a bad thing? Um, I feel like I should have just went to him, and even though he was real busy and he couldn't get in touch, I mean, he reached back out to me. You know, Paul is not just what I am. What I am is an artist. He's a producer. He's a a, a manager. He's a um, rapper. Everything, you get what I'm saying? A yeah. lot of this shit he might be doing by himself. You get what I'm saying? So I suppose it took a time 
So, you know what I'm saying? You know, we always jump. And uh, the nigga been killing. You see, I got new <laughs> jewels, uh, new everything. Yeah. Versace shades and shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, it's just been cool, you know. He understood the way I went, and he understood the way I had did it. So, you know, he was just saying, you know, always do what we always done. Believe in each other. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and that's what I'm doing right now. That's why I came back ASAP. You get what I'm saying? That nigga was quick on the response. So I had to jump back ASAP on the response, too, Fresh. to let everybody know, man. Um, it ain't a free real, but a free real niggas. Yeah. And we can't count them out just because we feel like they're acting like somebody else. If I can jump in for a moment just to kind of dissect the situation, you know, for everybody who did watch the interview, you know, pretty much 97% of the comments was Team Crunchy. Like right. everybody in the comments, a lot of the people in the comments were on your side. But one thing that, of course, I, you know, you're already aware of my platform. We don't really do the beef. We do allow people to come on and tell their story. Right, you know, right. you can tell your side of the story, and that's what happened. And it seems like that was pretty much your only option was to speak publicly right, on it at right, the time. You right, know, I, I right. ain't trying to justify or nothing like that. No, but that's the that's same thing I at. told them when I talked to him, I was like, you know, I was trying, I was trying, I was trying. Y'all know I'm not that nigga at all. Right. Where well, I feel like I want to be like a bitch and go online and yeah. get this doing some whole shit. But um, I told them, you know what I'm saying? And they understood just like me when I say they, it was Paul and Big Bro Phil. You know what I'm saying? Big Bro Phil have always been in our life. Yeah. Period. You know what I'm saying? And if he gonna be the miller man to be able where I can talk to Paul or make sure my words get to him real quick, they always together. So he's like, nigga, hit me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna let him be so busy where he don't be able to respond back to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, big brother Phil uh, Nashville down there, he he just worked it out for me. But he really worked it out for us. Me and Paul, you get what I'm saying? No doubt. Glad to hear Big Phil still holding down that bill, yeah, man. Yeah, man, still holding down that bill down there. You know, he got the um, the Bell Bonser company down there. Um, you know what I'm saying? And also he have, um, well, he got the Bell Bonser and he got his liquor. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh, I meant to bring the bottles so I can show y'all on camera, you know, Phil, Big Brother Phil got the liquor and they also have merch. He got a bunch of merch. Um, he tell me all the time, uh, little bro, get you some money, get you some merch. Cause the fans and the people who like you were, uh, they are bad. You yeah. get what I'm saying? They want to represent you. So uh, he got the baseball rich, baseball rich uh, clothing line. I, 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 y'all gonna see me in it all the time, just like y'all always see me in a uh, hard hit money game merch. Y'all will always see me in 3-6 Mafia merch, you know what I'm saying? And y'all always see me in my boy Keep It Sticky, you know what I'm saying? Merch. I'm talking about that's what I represent, and that's what I want y'all to, you know, give me some help on representing them for um, main things right there. 3-6 Mafia merch. Baseball rich merch, hard hit money game. Is merch. that that liquor? Is that a uh, disbelief tequila? Is that who yeah, that is? Yeah, 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 yeah. Way to go, way to go. You know he got that what? He got that white, gold, and now the black. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and all the busting. That's the reason why I couldn't bring the baller up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we took it all the way there with it. Yeah. You know, and um, I just say, man, you know, thank God. For uh, real niggas, man, you know, even though, you know, Juicy haven't reached out to me, and I also found out, you know, I wasn't the only one that he had something bad to say uh, about uh, at our group. You know, I heard through uh, Lord and from my brother that he said something bad about uh, Lord, you know what mm. I'm saying? What if you going to speak our name and um for your book? And to, you know, talk shit when a real nigga would have called. You know what I'm saying? A real nigga would have said, okay, you been hanging with Chad. 
let me get Chet to tell you that, you know, I spoke on you in the book. You yeah. know what I'm saying? What if it was the way he did it or or or, or, or a better way? You get what I'm saying? But he kind of talked to, for me, I know he was saying that I was the weakest link uh, of 3-6. And I can, I, 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 I don't puzzle on that, why he said that. Um, Cause he know I'm not weak in nothing. You get what I'm saying, and, and I'm the reason why. I'm part of the reason why we was doing our damn thing. You know yeah. what I'm saying. So if I was the weakest link, um, I would understand I was the weakest link, and I wouldn't say nothing about it. But for someone that supposed to be doing the biggest thing in their life right now, and um. You know, he got his book, he got all this fame going on, you know, Juicy's still been doing his thing, so why would he think about me and Lloyd in a negative way? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I just felt like that was kind of crazy to me for him to feel that way about me and Lloyd. You get what I'm saying? And I, I didn't understand it, but I, I kind of got, you know, was puzzling on it and trying to think about it. I was thinking about it a lot till I feel like, you know, Lloyd was a played a good part of this. When Lloyd died, a lot of the music side and a lot of things started going left too. You get what I'm saying? So in all in my head I said that Juicy probably said our name uh in that way he said it, a negative way, because we left and uh or Lloyd, they want to say Lloyd got kicked out, but he left and I left, and um, things didn't do what they always did. You get what I'm saying? It was still a factor. You know, when you perform, or when you put a group together, everybody in this group is different. Facts. But we own the same thing. You get what I'm saying? And soon as someone else even think about them in a, ne in a way uh, fuck y'all, you know, I'm David Ruffin. These are the temptations. Facts, yeah. That's when it started being fucked up. You get what I'm saying? It wasn't fucked up because Lloyd got kicked out or left, or it wasn't fucked up because Boo or Coop got kicked out or, or left. It was fucked up because the leader, one of the leaders, had that feeling that he said, or, or or that feeling that he put out there about us, a team player, you know what I'm saying, uh, and, and somebody that was always down for you. You know, it's kind of fucked up when you can be down with a nigga for so long and then you find out um, he don't even love you. Wow. You feel what I'm saying? It, you find out that you was only to get him where he was at. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and now that he's feeling without that them person or them people, he's not getting that far. You get what I'm saying? Because it's a group thing. You get what I'm saying? We got to respect what we're doing out here. We can't join a group and try to use the group as, let me get up there so I can be... Um, the fire hard beats, you know, and I'm going to do my solo thing and I, I'm going to be, I just feel like if you was doing great in life, you wouldn't have spoke on us in a negative way. So therefore, I feel like, you know, the devil is still with him. You mm. get what I'm saying? You know, right now we got to choose. Everybody choosing. The gang bang, bangers choosing. Uh, sides. Uh, the regular people are choosing sides. The color. The races. Everybody choosing sides. So you got to understand that the devil and God is a side that you have to choose. And if you're not choosing the right side, yeah, you're going to feel the way he felt. You get what I'm saying? When they're thinking of my name and Lord's name made him feel some type of way. And uh, somebody called me and said, hey, a female. She didn't call me. She hit me up in my DMs. And like I said, she said, man, I can't believe Juicy talked about you in his book, called you the weakest link. And she was saying that she was finna stop following him. She wasn't, she didn't uh, fuck with him no more because she felt like that was some weak ass shit he did. And and she like that, and I told her, no, no, don't feel that way about Juicy. You get what I'm saying? Feel the way you was feeling about him, 
because you don't know what I have done to him to make him say them things he said, even though I didn't do anything to him but left. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Left because... I saw motherfuckers doing shit that they didn't supposed to be doing, and then I wasn't getting congratulations on the shit I was doing. You get what I'm saying? It's like when you play a part, it's cool when you're playing your part and your part all the way. Um, you're doing some old hateful-ass shit and some backstabbing-ass shit, then I understand for a nigga, that, you know what I'm saying? But my family, we are, um, the Cartons, we are... Um, we stand on being real. You get what I'm saying? We don't stand on trying to get over on a nigga. If I'm going to take something from you, I'm going to take something from you the real way. I'm not going to sneak it and do it and shit like that. You get what I'm saying? Then I'm not going to speak um, how I spoke on my boy Paul uh, or Juicy or Pat. You know, it's just that's some foul ass shit. But when you throw a ball at your nigga, like you throw it, you can toss it to me, or you can throw it hard as fuck. You yeah. get what I'm saying? And I feel yeah. like that was hard as fuck uh, for him to do that, especially to somebody that came up with him. You know, if you did it all by yourself, you did it all by yourself. We understand that. But if you had help, then you got to congratulate them people. And if you believe in the Lord like you say you do, you're not going to have no ill feelings about nobody. You get what I'm saying? So I want to ask you, like, have any other of your peers, like, reached out to you? I know, obviously, you know, Paul reached out. Has anyone else reached out? Well, you know, uh, like I'm saying, Paul is the only one that reached out. You get what I'm saying? Paul is the only one that wanted it to be known that nigga is not the way you thinking. You get what I'm saying? And uh, Paul didn't diss me in no book. Paul didn't use my name in no kind of way because Paul is what I said he was, a real nigga. You get what I'm saying? And uh, most of the time when you do something to them niggas, they're going to do something back to you. And that's that's understandable. But when I did nothing to you at all but been there 100, you feel what I'm saying? I can understand um, we're not trained to be able to uh, respond to realness as quick as we are to be able to respond to bullshit. Facts. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, that's just what that was. And uh, like I say, nobody, nobody. I wasn't looking for nobody to reach out to me, but the two niggas I call boss. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the artist is just the same as I am. No big eyes, no little yous. You get what I'm saying? But uh, I wanted to hear from my bosses um, what it really was, even though I heard that uh, you said I was the weakest link. You know, his mother died. Uh, Ain't no telling what else Juice has been going through for him to come that way. You get what I'm saying? And it could mean like, damn, these bitch ass niggas left the group. Now we are not on top like we supposed to be. The money is not coming in like it's supposed to be. So he could have been saying it about that. You get what I'm saying? You know, when your um, group break up and you can't stand it on your own, you get the... um, the label get to asking you by them being producers, hey, you can work off your money by, you know what I'm saying, doing, um, instead of us putting you on the back burner, you feel what I'm saying, and yeah. not using you all, what you owed us, we'll let you do all of that. We'll give you uh, all the up-and-coming artists that we didn't sign to labels and shit that we did with, we will make sure you get Dibs on their beats. That's why we got a lot of singles that uh, other rappers don't use off our music because Juicy was able to get them music like that and they come to him first. Yeah. You know, and um, you know, shows is about the only thing, if 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 it's true, uh, shows, it's the only thing he get to keep. Uh, all albums, all... Um, uh, everything like even for bands to make you dance, he had an interview. He said that um, 
fans to make you dance, they were like, oh, I think big boy. It's like, oh, I know you got paid like a motherfucker out there. Right. And he was like, nah, I forgot to register. Right, they forgot to register. Yeah, and yeah, all them yeah. Strings I, I and don't spins, believe that yeah. at all. <laughs> I don't believe that at all because, you know, you register all our songs. Yeah. So, you know, for a song to go that big, you would have been like, oh, shit, I, let me register this song. And, 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 and you would have made sure it would register. And, you know, Big Boy was... That interview was way after the sales. Yeah. You know, in real life, you know, a motherfucker have to uh, pay this tab. You get what I'm saying? We ran. We left. Didn't know that we was leaving Paul and Juicy with a bill. You get what I'm saying? And uh, we left them with a bill, and the bill is pretty high. And, you know, he took the deal. Paul said, fuck them. Uh Get it like get it how they live or whatever, you know. If if that's true, you get what I'm saying. I don't want to make it look like I talked to one of them, but I did talk to some people because I was still searching for a deal. You yeah. get what I'm saying. And I learned a lot of other things about our situations. But um, yeah, that nigga that ain't hit me up. That nigga ain't said nothing about me uh to me. I think it's just to the point of uh, what we seeing when the devil's in your face. Mm. You know, when the devil's in your face, he'll say and do whatever to make sure you are um, is straight. You get to do shit for him. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> I always said I never sold my soul because I already was what the devil wanted. You get what I'm saying? Somebody who wasn't scared to do devilish things you get what i'm saying yeah. and i didn't want nothing out of life uh but what i was old you know what i'm saying what i am an icon a, a legend a a, 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 a a a spokesperson for the real hood niggas and bitches you get what i'm saying yeah. uh memphis tennessee representative you get what i'm saying represent to the memphis to the Bullets are the good, the bad, the ugly, and the bold. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I really wanted with the money. You get what I'm saying? So I can make sure my kids cool. I can make sure my family is straight. Like a motherfucker say, you ain't rich. If you running around rich and your folks still <laughs> struggling. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So, Thanks. you know, it's a lot of things that I do because I am who I say I am. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing else. Got nothing to do with this. Um, I love all them niggas forever. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm only speaking on that part of this relationship with Juicy because he said something. Evidently, if he said something and he know me, I'm going to say something back. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So, no, that's just my say something back. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, but I'll stand up, sit down. You know what I'm saying? But, uh... I still want everybody to know that's my nigga too. Yeah. You no, know, when Paul says nigga Juicy's name got to be on the check for us to get the check and be able to cash the check. And uh, he was saying, nigga, so y'all got to treat Juicy like y'all treat me. And uh, the day he said it is the day I start. And I haven't stopped yet because he haven't told me to. You get what I'm saying? And even because Juicy say what he say or disrespect us like he do, hey, man, when you get God all the way in your life, yeah, a lot of them things don't matter to me. You get what I'm saying? One question I got to ask you, though, you know, in the event, you know, Juicy or Pat, you know, they booked in the city or you guys cross paths, what's that conversation going to be like? Look, they going to have to say something to me. You know what I'm saying? I understand right now that um they don't fuck with me. Project Pat, he got a he got some money for a song and he told me, Crunch, I'm doing a mixtape, I want you to get on this song for me. And I'm like, shit, nigga, you know you ain't got the ex. Send me song, I'm knock it out. <laughs> on down the line, I don't found that Project Pat, the song he wanted me to rap on was a song he got paid for. And these people who paid them for this song, they gave them, you know, free grand for each one of us to get on the song. He didn't tell me about the free grand. He ended up uh, pocketing the free grand or getting it to his uh, uh, 
uh, what that is, his uh, cousin, I think, uh, Ray, which is the business manager to book his shows and shit. I don't know what it was, but at the same time, when I did reach out, I mean, when the folks reached out to me after they got the song together, they reached out to me because I knew the artist, one of the artists through my cousin Amp. They had the same job. When I was in Chicago, they came to Chicago on the job, and we all kicked it and shit. So, dude didn't know how to get in touch with me, but he got in touch with my cousin. My cousin called me on the three-way and said, hey, he want to make sure the business straight. He ready to put the song out and do the video. I'm like, I ain't getting no money. He's like, Pat, I gave him the money to Pat. And then he was like, oh, uh, yeah. And when I talked to you the last time, you said you didn't, you would have did the song for me for free. And he could have kept my royalties in my publishing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, oh, wow. <laughs> uh, uh, royalties in publishing and shit like that, that's something big. You don't get it to no motherfucker. You get what I'm saying? And you don't get nothing from it. So that's how much Pat thought about me. And I'm, I, I got to puzzle like a motherfucker when I got to talking to these people and uh, all that. He's like, you're going to let me talk to his lawyer. I said, no, nah, talk to my manager, Don Sorkin. I gave him a Don Sorkin number. My manager, he called him. And um, they talked to me. My manager called me back saying, hey, you you let him have your publisher now? I'm like, hell fucking no. Nah. They don't call <laughs> me with no shit like that. You know, uh, I know what. It means for you to get your publishing, your royalties, your writers, you know what I'm saying, and all that. So why would I get to a motherfucker and then give him a verse for free? You get what I'm saying? That just didn't sound right. So my manager ended up negotiating, regotiating, aiding or whatever, um, and I got more money. Okay. For the video and the uh, verse that I did, and they told me to reach out to Pat, give him the contract, let him sign it. Pat ain't talked to them folks since then. Wow. And he haven't talked to them folks since then because he know what he and his folks did. You know what I'm saying? He know what they did. You know, them folks have been calling me. I've been talking to the young guys that they uh, represent. I've been kicking them with them. We're supposed to be doing a video at the beginning of the year. But uh, they haven't, uh, Pat and Ray haven't answered the phone for them. Wow. So back at Pat like that too, I feel like uh, you go to the jails, you know, you talk about you change your life, you know, gave your life to God. What if it was this was done before you gave your life to God? Then you should both just be being right right now. Ain't nothing you did before. Ain't, ain't nothing you did before. If it was all done out of badness or the devil type shit, you supposed to make it right right now. Right. Especially if you gonna give your life to God. You know, we got a lot of people out here pretending like they believe in the Lord. And we got a lot of people uh pretending like they are soldier for the Lord. You get what I'm saying? They're gonna speak the word. But I feel like Charles and White, I don't want the word anymore. I want that spirit of the Lord in me. You get what I'm saying? Because with the spirit of the Lord, he say, uh, Charles and White said that um, we can do unbearable things when we got the spirit of the Lord in us since we already was part made from that. You get what I'm saying? And, I, and I, I'm only here to say if, if you brothers really, 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 really want to be what you say y'all are, and that's are representing for the Lord, then you'll make everything you don't do wrong right. You won't dodge no phone calls. You won't do none of that. I know you know who calling you and why they calling. You'll make sure that gets straight. We back, we back, Brinks TV, and, and, and your boy Crunchy Black, man. Uh, this segment of, of, of this, and I only came back to you because, like you said, I was one of the first major artists on your platform when you first started. Facts. I came back, and we ran up some numbers, and I'm back again because I say I'm a real nigga. 
So I have to be that a hundred percent. No, it's a lot of guys out here saying that, and they ain't. I'm not here to bash nobody. I'm here to shoot shots back because you shot shots at me. You do another interview, you say what you want to say. I just want you to understand whoever you are. I got the Lord in me 100%. I'm not worrying about nobody. I do not care about how you feel if you feel feeling negative about me. Um, I just don't care, you know. Say what you want to say. Words don't hurt me. Sticks and stones, nigga, might break my bones, but words that never hurt me. I and promise. I love everybody, man. I love everybody. You can't not represent the whole city and have dislike for certain people. I said I represent the good, the bad, the ugly, and the bold. One of the questions I, I didn't get a chance to ask you last interview you got any like favorite collaborations, you know, with other artists that Three Six Mafia did? Because I mean, it was oh, tons oh, of yeah. people y'all worked yeah. with. Yeah, like, 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 like. Um, I only had a few artists that's major or was major when I was doing my thing at the same time with Three Six was the Yin Yang Twins, and right now, me and D Rock from the Yin Yang Twins. <laughs> we working on an album together. Okay. Right now, and that joint is slamming, dog. Yeah. I swear for living God, I, you wouldn't even believe the songs and the stuff we don't came up with about being. He's going to come to Memphis, and we're going to finish the album out. Excuse me. But what we had been doing is just sending it back and forth. Yeah. Then I also uh, hooked up with uh, a Memphis legend at the same time which is uh gangster pat okay yeah gangster pat me and that guy um we got some hits too you know what i'm saying but right now you know uh pat his um his gal um she uh had a stroke and she's in the hospital so we want to send our prayers to pat girl uh gangster pat girl you know what i'm saying she's in the hospital uh having strokes and uh might I had to do surgery or whatever, but the same thing just happened to my oldest brother. Wow. Uh, he was having strokes, had blood clock in his head. They had to put him in surgery, had to learn how to walk all over again and stuff. So that's really why I've been in Memphis so long um, since that um, ship that we did for, um, what's that, Memphis in May and shit like that. But, um, yeah, uh, I also did one with... Um, Crucial Conflict, okay. Wild Style. I didn't know he was making the beats. He made the beats. I found out before I was leaving uh, Chicago, and I did like 19 songs with them. Wow. Told all them to get on it. Let's just do something, you know. And, and um, at the same time, P.D. Pablo hit me up a long time ago, and uh, he got on the song for me, and I still have that. Um, it's gonna come out on one of these albums me and my son got going on. I'm gonna put each one of the hot songs that I have from them artists. Uh, what's his name? Big Gip. Okay. Uh, Goody Mom. Yeah. Yeah. Big Gip always hollered me. Uh, uh, CeeLo Green. You know what I'm saying? They all every time they see me, Bun B, uh, Trio Burgers all the way. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? Um, what was it like working with like Cash Money? You know when y'all did that. You know what? Back it in the was day, to man. me. It was great. I loved it because them nigga was flashy and they were doing their thing. And then, like I told uh, someone else before, I had flew to um, uh, uh, New Orleans and hung out with a few of them guys then, and it was what they said they was. Yeah. You know, I I always I'm a big advocate on uh. Niggas being who they say they is. All of them niggas, from Baby Slim, all of them, Turk, uh, shit, uh, BG for sure. Yeah. And I ain't just saying that because BG out of jail, because BG know that I fuck with him 100 on some real nigga shit. Yeah. Um, I could have been hit him up for verses or anything, but I'm letting them do him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody want to ride a train just because the train come past you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 every artist can't let 
that train come past them and try to jump on it just because that person finna be back hot. You know, BG always been what it is, always been what it was. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And um, you know, Wayne, you know, he already know too, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, everybody in the music game that um I bump into or see from doing something and they show me love, you know. Another uh, feature that you guys had, I remember Kanye West, he was on that Side to Side remix. Yeah, yeah. Or, Let's talk about You know, it. me and Paul, we are in we are in an organization together. Most of us are, but me and Paul and them were in the same organization. And then Kanye West and GLC, big shout-outs to my brother GLC. Um, they are... And they do the same of us. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So anytime we go to Chicago or anytime we go, you know, I really like hung out with them guys in the hoods, everywhere. You get what I'm saying? And I, I can feel like part of that is the reason why uh, Kanye got in that video. You know, he did side to side, then he came with popping my colors. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And by the time we got to pop up my color video, that's why he was in there because, you know, I played my part right. You know what I'm saying? I represent what I represent. I'm fucking with who I supposed to fuck with. And if you don't fuck with Paul now, then I'm not fucking with you anyway. And I don't care who you is. Up and coming all your major artists. I'm not going to suck her out. You know, they only going to do right if you show them how to do right. You know what I'm saying? Most niggas leave their groups and they feel like they got ups on their group members and they want to talk about a lot of shit they learn all their time. I don't want to do that. Yeah. You know, I don't want to talk about my nigga them. But like I said, if you shoot shots, I'm shooting shots back. If that's all it is, then that's all it is. But I don't think one of me and one of the artists that I've been with or the producers that I've been with or nothing like that, I don't want to kill them. I don't want to see them dying. Yeah. So it never would get that big with me. You get what I'm saying? Not with them. So, of course, another person you guys work with, you know, we talking about Remy Ma. She was on that yep. Got Your Hook that, well, yep. I don't know if I can say it on the radio, but yep. you know what Remy time Ma, it is. I, 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 you know, I, I look up, um, to, I love the shit out of Fat Joe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, no, Joe, my nigga, for real, for real, in real life. But um, I fuck with Remy, too. And all I have to say is yeah, she's always been a hard hitter. You know what I'm saying? With her lyrics and shit. And just, uh, we got to stay what we is. Yeah. We say we black queens and kings, and we got to be that. We can't let something that's not on our level pull us to be down to where they at. You only left them people or that person for uh, uh, one reason, because they weren't on the same page as you. Uh, I'm saying that because I don't I don't think she should have let that boyfriend nigga break her what her and Pipe had going on, but at the same time I don't know what they've been going through. Yeah. So it really I can't speak on it. I just think uh we need to stay black queens and kings out here if we say we are. Definitely, man. Another person, of course, Bow Wow, man. Y'all have Bow Wow yeah, on Bow, the time, too. Bow Wow always, always been right there, too. You know, we, we, we really just was on the same label, and they were trying to transition him into a, being a older guy. Okay. And uh, Three Six Mafia was the oldest group. You get on Three Six Mafia, your ass is <laughs> old enough, <laughs> goddammit. Because we talk about a lot of shit, but uh, Bow Wow was always a good guy. Guy too, you know what I'm saying? I I fuck with Bow Wow, and I'm talking about like for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? He always been a cool little cat. You know what I'm saying? You know, we'll let TV get into us, and we'll start acting the way we shouldn't act. Yeah. Instead of acting the way we was taught or the way we should. Yeah. One of the favorite songs, man. We talking about riding spinners featuring yeah, yeah, Lil yeah. Flip. I, 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 yeah, Rad Spinner was a hot one. You know, in real life, we came up with a gang of hot ones. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, Rad Spinner it was just a cold gun, and then I liked it because my, one of my, uh, brother's friend, the dude who was spinning that, the, uh, the wheel on his head and shit. Yeah. And one of my brother's friends when they was young, and, uh, 
he did, but rest in peace to him and uh, his family and all that. But uh, he, uh, Paul, saw that that was my brother's friend, and he made sure he got paid for doing that. You that's get what dope. I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and that's all I'm saying. You know, niggas do the right thing, but uh, if you don't get to talk to your family or your friends like you really supposed to, they'll never know how you really feel. You get what I'm saying? And that's all this this whole interview shit, um, this whole me talking about what was going on in my life. Um, that's the reason why we do it. You get what I'm saying? We want the fans and the people to know that we are not just artists and just because we have a title of being a legend or a goat or whatever they want to call us, we're still regular people. You get what I'm saying? We still got feelings. We still running off my emotions. We still running off, um, you know, hatred. Yeah. At the most. You get what I'm saying? So, for anybody that know me, I have never been on no hate. You get what I'm saying? I don't think I even got that far to say I hate somebody. You get what I'm saying? Um, it just, most artists, that fuck with Paul and them, that um, when I left, some of them artists didn't say shit to me when they saw me. Yeah. They only sold me a dream. You get what I'm saying? But I really didn't buy the dream because I know how it is. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So if anybody that uh, saw me out there as a major artist, I mean, whoever you are, just know I ain't mad at you because you was acting funny. Sometimes that's how life is. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, it is what it is. Get it how you live, but don't live at all. And, you know, with this whole, you know, situation, you know, it's kind of difficult for the fans because a lot of us see this and we fans of everybody. Right. Like, as far as crunchy, we fans of Juicy, we fans right. of Paul, we fans of Pat, everybody involved, you know, and it kind of, you know, it's kind of challenging. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. That's why I say what the things I say, and that's why I'm, I'm I'm constantly trying to put it out to let everybody know I feel some type of way. Yeah. But I ain't. I don't feel hate. Yeah. I don't feel hate. I don't feel. Let me kill these niggas. I don't feel like let me send some of my young guys out since they always asking for something and I'm always doing what they need and they always tell me how much they'll pay me back. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, that ain't what I'm trying to do. Yeah. I say I work for the Lord. I say I run this world for the Lord. So I'm going to get to teach you who you are. If you don't want to listen to your mama or your daddy, maybe you'll listen to me. Yeah. But I'm going to say the same shit they say. One thing I got to ask you, though, man, you know, and I think this is for Memphis culture. I'm not sure if you've ever spoke on this at all or not. Because, again, I'm a fan of Memphis music, Memphis culture. What's What would you say is your relationship or the situation with Player Fly? Well, me and Fly had an argument not too long ago. It, it ain't been no long, long time ago, and it haven't been, uh, like, no short shit. But um, I got this song. He, it's going to be on my album, on one of these albums, too. Okay. I got this song called Are You Ready? And when I was going to get uh, scissor herb and weed from uh, Fly at the time. Um, me and him grow a bun where he heard some of my music, I heard some of his music, and he heard this song, he wanted to get on it. I let him get on it. He rocked the fuck out of it. Y'all will hear this song. You know what I'm saying? It's called Are You Ready? And um, when he did his interview not that long, and they were asking him, was he get on the song with one of us, this person, would we give him some money, would he take it? And he was kind of throwing it to the left, like, fuck them niggas, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, damn, man, Fly been cool. Yeah. So I had this three-day run they paid me for to be in uh, Atlanta. I had a three-day run. And when we went to the studio and shit, they was like, who else you know? They might be down here I can put on the song. And I'm like, shit. You fuck with Lil Fly? And they was like, yeah, man, Mexican guy. And I'm like, y'all let me try to call him. And I called him and shit. He didn't answer the first time, and I got to text him and shit. So he got to saying, like, 
Nigga, you got your ass Paul, dude. Can you talk to me? And some shit I said in the interview after he did his interview, I think off the porch or whoever it was, and um, I kind of told him, like, Black, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know, we was, we was just cool. Yeah. And you didn't tell the people that you did a song with me or you was fucking with me, and then when I throw the ball back in your court, now you mad. You know what I'm saying? But he ended up telling me he wasn't mad for real or whatever, whatever. But me and Flat been cool. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck really who you is. If you're from Memphis, I'm going to try to build a relationship with you. And especially um, if it's been a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to be grown still mad at some young kid shit we yeah. were doing. If you are, if you that artist that's mad at me for being on Paul's side, then that's your fault. But if you were that artist that mad at me and, and don't know how to get over that, that's your fault too. You know what I'm saying? Because boys turn into men. And if your mind is still on a on, on a boy's level, then I understand you're going to keep on being doing boy shit. A lot of us on the outside looking in, like w you were there. You were a part of 3-6 Mafia. What exactly was the issue from your point of view with Player Fly at the time? You well, know? you know, they were playing games. You okay. get what I'm saying? They were playing games. You saw Black was over there, then Fly was over there, and then Black and Fly are. They were playing games. You know what I'm saying? But we was kids. So, you know, the, the, the games is what we was playing back then. But, you know, if they would have understood that Paul and them had what they had in them and can get you far, then you would have not played games. So it really ain't nobody's fault but yours. You know, everybody want to blame somebody else for something. You get what I'm saying? You're only going to be able to blame somebody else if you can blame yourself first. You can't keep calling out folks just because something happened. You know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah. give me a minute. My my folks, uh, he just ridiculous. He's got ants in his pants. <laughs> he's oh, he got ants in his jumpsuit. <laughs> yeah, he got he got ants in his jump jumpsuit. So he keep on, you know, coming in. He heard the dough. Y'all heard the dough. Well, y'all heard the dough. Uh, that's a, that's how it is around here. You know, niggas just don't give a fuck about what we got going on, and and, and they just do whatever. You get what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, you know, hey, uh, yeah, I I just think platinum or whoever it is, uh, you need to be trying to get some money instead of being mad at what don't went on. I love you, I fuck with you. If you can feel that same way about me, then maybe we can do something. But if you got hate for me and think you don't have me to come around you. So y'all can pull a move and try to film shit and shit like this so you can look tough. It's not going to work with me. It's not going to work with me at all. And the whole thing about, like, this show, you know, I'm always about resolution. You know, that's what the previous interview was about, trying to find a resolution. And you did. And and, and we, I'm we glad. Got better, we got a better outcome. Uh, like I say, man, Gangsta Pack got some shit going on. Um, I got some shit with the D-Rock from the Yin Yang Twins were going on. Uh, me and Chat finna drop two more videos for our situation. Um, I suppose I had some with Scan, but he never get back with me to really finish that product. God, uh, I mean that uh, uh, that album or nothing. So I really don't know. I've been fucking with uh Looney. Um, he do us beats. He got a studio. He do us a lot of folks shit. He's oh yeah, Lunatic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been fucking with him, and I uh, been fucking with Hot Rod. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Hot Rod, he's a, a cat that been, you know, he's cold with them beats. Oh, yeah. Platinum selling producer. Right. Yeah. I, 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 like, that nigga so cold, now. It's like, he told me when I first started working with him, it's like, a, these beats that I made for you a long time ago. Yeah. And after y'all hear these songs, y'all gonna know that nigga cold. He yeah. called Hot Rod, and, and I messed with uh, Jay. Jay is from the same studio, Hot Rod, and he does a lot of hot tracks and shit too. And he um he got like he got probably three three albums. Him and Hot Rod got three albums that we done together. Yeah. And y'all finna get a hold of it. You know what I'm saying? In a minute, that speak no evil, hear no evil, see no evil, with me and my son, um, S O E Black. You know what I'm saying? 
this shit finna be hot. It's finna be hot. You know, I don't know what you tell some of you niggas who've been trying all this time and can't come up with hot music because you're not really doing what you're saying. When you do what you say, you do, it's easy for you to come up with a real song. Facts. And yeah. then the strike is over with now. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're going to be My seeing you on the big screen. Me down. Yeah. No, you know, um, I actually, um, we got this uh, movie. It's like a slave movie. You know, hey, I look black enough for a slave, <laughs> so it, it probably do pretty good. But it's a slave movie. It's finished. We finished our filming it. Um, Soon they give me the word to my manager. He let me know, but it's gonna be a good, a real movie. Um, I signed up with SAG, so you know they, you know with SAG, SAG do they put artists in um and good movies and shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So y'all to be seeing movies, seeing me on television and movies real soon too. But you know I'm not rushing to be on something before um, I'm trying to get y'all this music. Music, um, videos, movies, commercials, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You finna get it all from your boy. I appreciate everybody. Uh, like, I really, really, really appreciate my fans. You know what I'm saying? Because my fans got it done, dog. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Right. So if you're an official uh, fan of Crunchy Black, I need you to go to Donnell Carlton. 11, D-A-R-N-E-L-L-C-A-R-L-T-O-N, 11. That's a fan page. Um, that's my real name for anybody who want to write me a check. <laughs> uh, 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 but um, that's my fan page. I put a lot of snippets and shit up there of, of music that y'all fin to get. So I'm finna try something with my, uh, uh, what it is, uh, Skype. Not Skype, no, nah, what it is. <laughs> Every time I think about is it. Is it uh, TikTok? No, nah, uh, it's uh, Spotify? No, nah, they, they say we barely get paid off of it, but I have my own screaming. I need every real fan to go follow that page right there and pick which songs that you like the most. Now, it's going to be a bunch of them up there, but you're going to pick them. And when you pick them, I'm going to... I'm on, um, I'm going to rent some spot out. I'm going to perform every song. I don't give a fuck if it's from 3-6 Mafia or my new shit that y'all don't even have yet. I'm going to perform them songs. Only 12 songs I'm going to perform. So if you go on there and you see anything for 3-6 Mafia, if you don't see anything for 3-6 Mafia up there, I still want you to tell me so I can know. And I'm going to do a concert on my screaming uh platform or uh, i'll give y'all the link um i'll let y'all know when i keep commercials going for it on them pages so you can see and know when it is but it's gonna be some hot shit some hot shit i got some hot shit i'm gonna put out like i said and um i'm gonna do that for my fans you know what i'm saying i'm gonna make some money out the screen man i make some money off them downloading the link and shit you know but I'm really trying to do it for my fans to get them a straight, crunchy black show. Yeah. You know, the old music, new music, music you never heard, or you know what I'm saying, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just showing y'all that what y'all going to be able to get um, this year. What is it, 2024? 20, it's finna be. Like a motherfucker. <laughs> so, you know, everything I speak of, it always come in a diss, and it always happen the way I said it. <laughs> so, y'all get ready. Real fans. Donnell Carton, fan page 11. Donnell Carton 11 on Instagram. Once you go on there, if you ain't on none of my other uh, Instagram page, then you I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I got a bunch of them motherfuckers too. Hard hit money game, the real crunchy black, uh, 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 new black city, uh, CB six 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 mafia, uh, gangster walk, all them pages. So catch up with your boy, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't sit still. You gotta move like a wheel. I promise. Hey, I gotta say thank you again for coming back on the show, man. And I'm I'm thankful that 
my platform helped you get your money. You know what no, I'm saying? That's man, what it's your about. platform works like a motherfucker. So, you know, we always talk to each other and we always try to figure out how can we help each other. I'm talking about me and you. Yeah. Not people in general, just me and you. And uh, it seems to always work out. So, you know, I'm always going to be a Brent TV uh, person. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm always going to shout and talk about Brent's TV because this is something from my city and you've been a cool nigga all since I met you. You know, I ain't saw no fuck shit. Even when I was acting funny, this nigga still acted cool. I appreciate that and I'm rolling with you. No doubt, man. Of course, like I say, I'm a diehard fan, man. Been a fan since I was a kid, man. So, hey, where right. I'm finna got go. Right. But I, I gotta say, thank you again for being on the show. With that being said, now back to Brink Radio.